Travelers flying into the Caribbean for business, pleasure, or to see family are faced with tighter and continually changing COVID testing procedures. As CBS4's Hank Tester reports, some island nations have cut the mandatory pre-flight entry testing to as little as one day. Traveling to the Caribbean from Miami, flights are full heading that way, but travelers need to be on the alert. Now what you're seeing is more and more destinations are starting to tighten up their entry protocols for travelers. With COVID outbreaks on cruise ships, several Caribbean nations have denied entry to their ports. The smaller islands, they simply can't take the risk with a large outbreak. And for air travelers, tighter restrictions on pre-flight entry testing for some islands. St. Bart's uh, was three days, now they're changing it to one day. And for the Bahamas, a favorite getaway for Miami folks, not to mention so many Florida residents have family there, an important change. Well, the Bahamas just tightened theirs from five to three days, meaning you have to get a test uh, and you have to take a test and receive a result within three days before you fly to the Bahamas. <laughs> But the other side of the story, Mexico, no proof of tests needed. Book a trip and go. Business booming in Cozumel. But remember, you need a test with negative results to return to the U.S., as is the case with all travelers entering the USA. Half a million visitors a month, mostly from the U.S., visited the Dominican Republic. The DR never shut down. The government vaccinated in tourist locations, especially service industry workers. So the DR, basically, you don't have to get a test to go. Uh, that's helped them see some, you know, some of the best numbers they've ever had. Entry protocols are changing on a daily basis in the Caribbean. So if you want to be up to date, we have information for you on our website, cbsmiami.com. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News.